substance made of ions. Substance that made of ions are called uh, the ionic compounds. Okay, and they're the compounds of metal bonded with non-metal. Now, for ionic compounds, we must have positive ions and negative ions. Huh? And the positive ions usually come from metal and the negative ions normally come from non-metals. Huh? So it's a combined of metals and non-metals. Um, example, salt, sodium chloride. Sodium is metal, chloride is from non-metals. Huh? Copper is metal and sulfate is from non-metal. There can also be alkali. Huh? Sodium is metal, hydroxide is non-metal. This is a positive ion, this is a negative ion. And oxides of metal, lead oxide, lead is metal, and oxide is non-metal. It's a combination or it's mixtures of uh, metals and non-metals. And uh, metals usually are the positive ions and uh, non-metals are the negative ions. Uh, how do we know the, the substance is made of ions? First, you need to see whether it's uh, salt, alkali, or oxides of metals. Uh, and uh, second, you check uh, whether it's combinations of uh, metals or non-metals or not. If it's a combination of metals and non-metals, then usually there are ionic compound. Okay. For ionic compound, because it carry charge, all ion carry charge, and there is a very strong force, the electrostatic force, very strong electrostatic force in between the atoms. Eh? So let's say we have positive ions, negative ion here, and there is very, very strong electrostatic force in between these two ions. And this electrostatic force holds all these ions together. And uh, because the positive charge attract negative, negative attract positive, positive attract negative, and therefore they will arrange in this manner. Okay, positive, negative, positive, negative. Eh? Okay, and become a, a very, very big structure. So the alternate positive and negative ions in an ionic solid are arranged in an orderly way. Okay. The melting point and boiling point of ionic compound usually are very high. For example, uh, this is sodium. Okay, we can see that the melting point is around uh, 380 or 370 Kelvin. Eh? And uh, a melting point of chlorine is not even 200. But if these two atom form ions attract each other's form ionic compound, sodium chloride, sodium ion and chloride ions. So the melting point increased tremendously, okay, to about 1100 Kelvin. So you can see the boiling point and melting point become very high when they form ionic compound. This is because the, the electrostatic force in between the ions are very strong. Okay, so we need a lot of heat energy to break this bond eh, for it to melt or for it uh, to boil. And uh, the shape and form, all ionic compounds are crystalline solids at room temperature. And just now we say uh, it will form a structures in orderly the, the, the particles, the ions, eh, okay, we arrange in an orderly manner, and this will cause them to form the, the shape of crystal, okay? So they are crystalline. Eh? And the hardness, they are hard but uh, brittle. Okay, hard means it's, it's very hard to make a scratch on it, okay? But brittle means that it can be broken easily. So when stress, the bonds are broken along planes of ions which share away. For example, this, this is the, the arrangements of ions uh, inside an ionic compound. If a force is given, they, they are in layer. So if a force is given, then this layer can slide on each other easily and this make it uh, brittle. So they are hard, but they are brittle. Hard means it's difficult to make a scratch on its surface but uh, brittle means that it can be broken easily. Yep. So that's what you need to know about the hardness of ionic compound. And for the solid of ionic compound, they do not conduct electricity because there is no free electrons and free ions, but they can conduct electricity when they are melt or dissolve in water. Because when they melt or dissolve in water, the ions become free. So remember, they are 
ions inside the ionic compound. There's a lot of ions, but this ions is not free in solid, but free to move in a liquid or gas. Okay, so liquid means they they can be in a this a melted form or a solution form. Okay, dissolve in water and become solution, and all these ions become free to move. An ion carry charge. So when these charge are free to move, then they can conduct electricity. Okay. So ionic compound cannot conduct electricity in solid, but can conduct electricity in liquid or solution.